hi guys how are you doing today thank you so much for tuning in to my channel thank you for all of you who have watched my video and are watching my videos thank you for your comments thank you for your like thank you for sharing thank you for the feedback i just want to remind you if you're not subscribed please do not forget to subscribe share my videos uh turn on your notification bells so that when i post a new video you are aware so i'm not sure how many of you know my name is gladys i probably have said that before right and i have a ministry called god you or me and we call it gym so one of the things we talk about at gym is that we are sent by god to change the narrative we must change the narratives in regards to our relationship our family our marriages uh, we must make sure that we do not pass on the negative stories to our children. And in the light of that, today I'm going to be talking about why parents must not fight in front of their children. And if they happen to fight in front of their children, they think that they should not do. So let's get into it. So one of the reasons why uh, when parents fight in front of their children, it puts the kid in an awkward position. I'm not sure if any one of you, I'm pretty sure, I don't even want to say I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that at some point in your life, unless if your parents were really very strate strategic, you might have seen or experienced them fighting. And you can imagine how that made you feel as a child. So some parents even go as far as making their children pick sides when they fight or having their children, you know, pick, oh, is mommy at fault or is daddy at fault, you know? So in an attempt to change the narrative, what are some of the things that we should not do? If as parents, the things that you should not do, especially in front of your children, is fight or have like a loud argument or physical fighting. Obviously, we are, by now, everyone already knows that, you know, those things are not only a bad representation of what marriage is to your children, it, it just messes up their, the, how they see you. And beyond, beyond that, it affects your children psychologically. So if you can avoid it, don't have loud misunderstanding or fight in front of your children. And if you can, please, when you fight, do not let your, do not make your children pick side. Don't, you know, bad mouth your spouse in front of your children. Don't tell your, 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 your children how bad their dad is or how bad their mom is in an attempt to get them to, you know, either be against their mom or be against their dad. That, that is not a very smart thing to move. Because to, uh, that's not a very smart thing to do. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have to reap the, the bad investment. That's the truth. So please, when you fight, do not make your children pick side. And also, don't verbally abuse don't verbally abuse your spouse in front of your children you should not even be doing that with or without your children's presence but you should not be doing that in front of your children don't call your spouse names in front of your children as a daughter i would not want to see any man at all speak to my mom badly and as a daughter i would not want to see any woman speak to my dad badly that's just how it is so you, whether it is your parent or not you don't want to hear them call your your or your father or your mom a certain name because it affects you and the truth is that all these things are some of the reason why some some people don't want to get married because they've seen how their parents lived up until when they grew up and they're like if this is what marriage is all about i don't want any part of it and they think you know because of how our parents are or have been we have a very bad representation of what we good relationship what godly relationship what purpose purposeful relationship is so parents we play a big part when it comes to shaping how your children see and view relationship and ultimately marriage also another thing i want to talk about is that you should not stay in a bad marriage you should not use your children as an excuse to stay in a bad marriage I have seen and I've heard many times, countless numbers, mothers especially say, oh, I'm staying in this marriage because of my kids. I know fully where that there are some, you know, like there are some circumstances where, you know, the woman cannot leave the marriage because she will not be able to, she might not be able to see her children again if she does, or if she leaves the marriage, the position of her children's inheritance is threatened, you know, so they just stay in that marriage because they don't want to, you know like displace their children and sometimes obviously uh 
that marriage is not the best but they are there because they are using their children as an excuse the truth is sometimes we hurt our kids a lot more in staying in a terrible marriage than you know uh than leaving because by staying you're scarring them and then you think that children they don't know but they know they know what is going on they see you they see how you know you guys are always fighting you how you don't agree on anything how when you come out outside you're the best buddies but inside you guys are not you know close close to each other so you think you're staying in the marriage because of your kids and it's, it's it's not helping so if you want to make sure that you don't sow the wrong uh, the wrong seed for your children please resolve your issues if you cannot resolve your issues seek higher authority obviously let god be involved in your marriage but also seek the help of people who can wisely help you and your spouse but don't use your children as an excuse to stay in a bad marriage now this is a disclaimer i'm not saying that you should leave your marriage no i'm not saying that you should not work out your marriage no i'm just saying that when a marriage becomes unbearably unbearable don't use your children as an excuse to to stay in that marriage so make sure that while you're working on your marriage that you're being conscious of the fact that there are people who are looking up to you there are people who are literally taking and seeing everything that you're doing and another thing i think that that's the final thing is our society sometimes when people you know like uh society has made this very hard for parents or even for children uh for parents to make a decision that is best for them instead of making a decision that is best for everyone what i mean by this is that i have had this phrase many times when they say oh children from a broken home can never make a good home first of all that is yes and that is a no that is a yes in the sense that yes sometimes children from broken home cannot make a good home because they don't have the good example to live off of and they don't because of how much they have been scarred it's hard for them you know like if they're not if they don't know how to handle that it's hard for them to move past that but also is a no because how you make your home is dependent on you when you grow and you become an adult do you have the opportunity to learn and unlearn some of the things that you've known all your life so ultimately when you get married if your marriage is gonna work if your marriage is not gonna work it's dependent on you and your partner i think you know like in as much as uh, your upbringing plays a huge role but you have the ability to you know like have a limit on how much your up upbringing can influence you because you have the power to change whatever you don't want in your life so we as society we don't give people a chance because we think oh they're from a divorced home or they are you know like their their parents were not in good terms or this and that so because of that you cannot marry him or you cannot marry her no please let us focus on making sure that we raise up a generation of people who value relationship a generation of people who value friendship a generation of people who values the importance of marriages and how can we do that it is by changing the narrative and just as parents even us as you know like the millennials as we are growing up let's make sure that the things that we saw in our parents and we did not like let's change that in our lives let's change that in the lives of our children and the things that you learned from your parents and you know that those things are not the right way to do things don't you know don't keep doing them don't pass on the negative patterns don't pass on the negative the negative you know like mindset or mentality make sure that those things that were not right they end with you so i hope that today's episode has been able to help you if you agree or disagree let me know i would like to hear from your feedback but ultimately in changing the narrative it is us being conscious of the fact that we must not repeat negative patterns and what are the ways not to repeat negative patterns to learn and unlearn the things that we've we've known or, or we've learned all our lives thank you so much guys bye bye